Louis Hector de Callier had invited everyone, saying, If you wish to put an end to this business and cease all hostilities, we must meet with one another. The rendezvous was set for August 1701 in Montreal. Would the Five Nations Iroquois and the allied Great Lakes nations all show up? There were plenty of opponents to the plan among both the Allies and the Iroquois. But there were lots in favor of it, too, like Oui Nenon, the Seneca chief. Even though all his family members had been killed in 1699 by some of France's native allies, Oui Nenon was in favor of peace. He would go to Montreal as an Iroquois delegate. Finally, they were on their way. Nearly 1,300 native ambassadors began the perilous journey to Montreal. Against all odds, and especially despite the epidemic raging in the St. Lawrence Valley, they paddled their canoes around rocks and rapids and carried them over difficult portages. The first boats arrived at Sault St. Louis, just outside Montreal, on July 21, 1701. Everything was ready for them to sign the treaty but there were still some obstacles to be overcome.